Welcome to Getting Started with Pieces Desktop App, an AI productivity tool for developers that revamps your development workflow, making your coding journey smoother and more efficient. Pieces isn't just another tool. It's an AI-powered assistant that integrates seamlessly throughout your development environments. It helps you store and resurface valuable code snippets, solve complex coding problems, and even generate code tailored to your unique needs. And all of this can be done completely on device, ensuring maximum security for your data. While Pieces offers a wide variety of integrations with browsers, IDEs, and other productivity tools, today we're going to be focusing on our flagship desktop application. For those of you interested in our other products, check out our YouTube playlist for more in-depth tutorials and guides on those, and we'll have links in the description. To start things off, let's begin with the installation. So we'll head to our homepage, and we'll actually just click this install now in the top right. And don't worry, Windows and Linux users, the process is almost identical with documentation in the description as well. After installation, you'll be guided through our brand new onboarding process. And trust me, filling this out accurately really does enhance your overall experience using Pieces. Now that you've completed onboarding, let's dive into one of the core pillars of Pieces, managing code snippets. Let's say you find a useful snippet on Stack Overflow and want to save it for later use. It's a simple click of a button, and you'll notice that if, if you come back to the desktop app, it's saved and has been enriched. And of course, we always save that origin site for you when you're referencing it later. Next up, let's save a snippet in VS Code. This demonstrates our anchoring features. We can simply right-click, Pieces, Save to Pieces, if we come back to our desktop app, you'll notice that that is saved for us. And we even have related anchors, which will take us back to the code if we ever lose our place. Plus, you can even drag and drop code screenshots directly into the desktop app for even more convenience. Let's say you're watching a coding tutorial, and instead of manually copying and pasting this, we're going to capture a screenshot of it, go back to Pieces desktop app, drag and drop it straight into the view, and we're gonna do the work behind the scenes to extract the code from that, enrich it, and store it for later use. Generating a shareable link for your code snippets is always just a click away in the desktop app. You can simply click on generate shareable link, and this may take a few seconds for the first time, but you'll notice that we have this link that we can share with anybody. They can come and save that snippet or get useful information from it. And remember, you can always edit or transform your snippets to make it more performant or readable simply by clicking edit the snippet. And you actually get these shortcuts. Let's say we want to make it more performant or more readable. You can simply click. It'll process that and generate really nice comments explaining the snippet for you. And for newcomers, do not miss out on the snippet discovery feature. It's a fast way to populate your pieces database with useful code snippets from your existing projects. You can simply click add snippets, snippet discovery, and let's say we'll select a folder that we have some code in, click choose, it'll go through and generate very nice and reusable snippets for us to save. Our search capabilities are lightning fast, making your snippets easily accessible and reusable whenever you need them. Let's say we're looking for a Flutter widget. Can easily search it and find it within a matter of seconds. Now let's explore the Pieces Copilot. You can start a new chat, select between both local and cloud LLMs, all while watching it generate snippets for you based on your input. You can even launch a new Copilot chat directly from a snippet linking all of that chat conversation straight back to the original saved material. You also have the ability to set context on a per conversation basis. So let's say we want to ask a question about a specific project that we're working on. We can easily add that project to the context of the conversation. And now our co-pilot knows about our project without ever seeing it before. And we can't forget to mention that this copilot conversation carries with us throughout our workflow. So let's ask a suggested question. And now we can jump straight over to our IDE and pick up that conversation right where we left off. 
Before we wrap up, let's briefly look at the other views that Pieces Desktop App has to offer. For example, we have a workflow activity view where you can view all of your activity, what snippets you've referenced, edited, generated, and even created, as well as your recent searches and your most used materials. We can look at our global search, which acts like your personal Google, looking through all your repositories, the different people that you've collaborated with, as well as your recent searches. We even have a view specifically for Snippet Discovery that we mentioned earlier in this video that allows you to bring existing projects straight into pieces without skipping a beat. And finally, our updates and upcoming page where you can influence our next releases, seeing what's recently released, as well as what's on our roadmap coming up next. That's a wrap for this quick tour of the desktop app. There's more to explore with pieces, so make sure you check out our other videos and documentation link below. Also, join our Discord community for more insights and make sure to download our plugins to supercharge your workflow. Thanks for watching. And remember, the more you use pieces, the more personalized and powerful it becomes. Check out the link below to get started and I'll see you in the next video.